Hello guys, welcome back. So now in this tutorial, we are going to add remaining set of fields on the candidate object. So we're going to go ahead and add years of experience. This is one field. It's going to be a number field which will only have two characters allowed means usually the experience that a candidate can have will be like two digits. So that's why we are leaving it to two. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, add these fields here to capture the SSN information and it, we're going to leave it as encrypted so that only um, you won't be able to see what the other user has typed in. So we're going to go ahead and leave it encrypted and we'll create a pick list to capture what level of education the candidate has. And these will be the options. Do we, does he have a PhD, postdoc? BA, uh, MS, MBA, things of that nature. And then we're going to add some visa related stuff to check if he does he needs a uh, visa or is he a US citizen? Is he currently employed? So these are the check boxes that we are going to create for our candidate object. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our schema builder. So I'm going to go here and uh, let's go to the schema builder here. So this is the schema builder object that I've created and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add those remaining set of fields on the candidate object. So the first field that I need to add is the number of years. So that's the years of experience. So I'm going to go over to the schema builder and I will drop this. Let me remove, get rid of the position object. So I'm going to deselect or unselect this. And then here under the elements, I'm going to choose the number data type and drop it here and I will call this as years of experience and the length would be two decimal places would be zero and uh, hit save. So that's the field that I've added on the candidate and then the next field would be the SSN. So it's going to be an encrypted field. So I'm going to drop this field and SSN is the next field that I will be adding. And let's say the SSN length is 10 and mask type it is asking you. We can go ahead and uh, I'm going to choose the social uh, security number as the mask type. And it is asking me, do you want a mask type with the X or with the asterisk? So I'm going to choose asterisk here and this is how it's going to look like. And then hit the save button. So this is my SSN field has also been added. Now the next field that I need to add is the... If I go over to the next slide, education, which is a pick list. So I'm going to go back to my schema builder and add a pick list here. And this is going to be education. And what are the values? So I already have the values over on the notepad. So I'm just to save time. I'm going to paste those values over here. So diploma is one of the option BA, BS, MA, MS or MBA, PhD, postdoc. So these are the set of values that this education pick list will have and then hit the save button. Now the next thing is I also want to add a field to ask if he's currently employed. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a checkbox. So I'll move the checkbox and here will be are you currently employed and then I will default value would be checked or unchecked. Now, what is this help desk? Help desk is basically is like a tooltip as they tells you about what the field will have. So that's if you want to enter something here, it will show up in the um, in the UI. OK, so here I'm going to go over and I'll say, um, are you currently working or free from? So something like this, I just added a help desk so that will appear over the field if you hover your mouse and we'll see it in a minute. Then the other one is a checkbox field and uh, this is going to be are you a US citizen? So that's another field I'm adding. Hit the save button. And then the other field is also a checkbox and this is going to be do you need visa? That's the field. And then hit the save button. So these are all the fields that we have added on the candidate object. Now the next thing is if I just want to see how the position uh, object looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and select the position here and it will show up next to the candidate. Currently there is no relationship. We have a separate object to keep track of the open positions and the positions in the company. And then we have another table or the object to keep track of the candidate. But there is no way of finding out which candidate have applied to which positions and so forth. So we will learn about that um, in the next upcoming tutorials. We'll talk about relationships, so how we can track that 
connection between the two. But for the timing, we are done with our candidate object, but we have to add this candidate object over to the page layout because if you go over to the candidate tab here and if you try to refresh the page or try to create a new record, you still won't see any other fields. So in order to change the page layout, you will click on this gear icon. You have to be under this candidate tab, okay? you. Uh, and then here you can see there is an option for edit object. Now this edit object option is not available everywhere. So if I'm under the home tab here and if I go and click here, there is no option to edit the object. So if I wanted to specifically edit a candidate object or a position object specifically, so I have to click on the position tab, then click on the gear icon and then go to the edit object. So what will it do is it will directly take me to the object manager screen. So now if I want to change the candidate objects, anything on the candidate object, I can control fields and relationship through the through the object manager, page layouts, validation rules, etc. So I have to click on this gear icon, go under this candidate tab first, and then from that we are going to click on the gear icon and then hit the edit object. Now it automatically takes you to the candidate object manager. And then from the page layouts, you see there is a candidate layout which has automatically been created when you created the object. You didn't create it, but this is the default one that gets automatically created. And on this page layout, I will be adding those new set of fields. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and first create a section to capture bio. So I'll call this section as personal bio this is the personal bio or personal information and then hit the ok button so this personal bio will have the information like his ssn that's the first thing that we're going to ask then we are also going to ask him um, things of how many years of experience does he have that's another thing years of experience then we are going to ask him his uh, so the first name and last name those are the information which are going to be dropped under the information section. So we're going to go ahead and uh, enter first name and then here this is going to be the last name and his address. So the address will have a street. So I'm going to drop the street here. So I'm going to wherever you see the green, that's where you can drop it. If it changes to red, that means you cannot, uh, you can't drop the field over here. So you have to make sure that it's a, it's in a place where the tick mark is showing as green. So now here is the street, then you have a city, then is the state, and then we have is the country. So these are the fields that we have added here. Then let's say under the personal bio, I'll also enter his email. That's another field I want to capture and the phone. And then next thing is education. So we're going to go ahead and add this education information here as well. So this is his personal bio and then let's say create another section here and uh, we'll call this i want to move it over here so this system information this is other let's just keep it other and then this one i want to scroll it after the personal bio so let's say we move this personal bio after the information section so now you have personal bio then you have is the information section sorry this information would go over here before the personal bio so this is the order information then the personal bio which will have his ssn his years of experience his email address the phone number and the education now the next one is the fields like are you a u.s citizen so are you currently employed so i'm going to leave this do you need visa? I'm going to drop this field and are you a US citizen? So all these fields I have added over here. So now this is the complete candidate page layout. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the quick save here. Hit the save button. Now you can see here that I've added the, if you go over to the candidate object, you're going to click on this. And these are the fields that are available. And if you remember the help test that we have added, this is how the help text looks like. We only added this help text for this particular field 
So you can, when you hover your mouse over to this icon I, it is going to give you the information about the field. So are you currently working on free or are you currently working or free from the project? I should have changed the help text from on to or as a typo. So here, these are all the fields. Now if I click on and this is done pretty nicely because this is the detail tab. And then you have a section for personal bio. You have a section for other, which gives you extra information. This is our candidate object that we have created.